to them is a gift from God. So as I call these names, I'm going to ask these families to come forward, and we will spend some time in prayer together with them. First of all, I'm going to ask Levi Christopher Beardsley to bring his parents, Seth and Nancy, uh, to come. <laughs> Levi was born April 8, 2009. <laughs> he has way more hair than he should. <laughs> Really not fair, buddy. <laughs> First, sorry about that. You okay with that? No, okay. <laughs> Proverbs 15. The fear of the Lord is the instruction for wisdom, and before honor comes humility. And then I'm going to ask the birds to bring Kara Lee. Kara was born on July 15, 2009, Harrisburg. Kara's parents are Paul and Suzanne. This is their third child. Her big sister is Cassidy, and her big brother is Carter. And they've chosen a long passage of scripture from Colossians chapter 3, verses 12 through 17. I'm just going to read part of that, if that's okay. Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. And whatever you do, whether in word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through Him. You guys, come here, please. We ask the Caldwells, Chad and Cheryl, to bring Linnea, Ruth Caldwell, who was born on November 26, 2009, in Harrisburg. And the scripture that the Caldwells have chosen for Linnea is Psalm 150, verses 1 through 6. And again, I'll just read part of that. Praise the Lord. Praise God in His sanctuary. Praise Him in His mighty heavens. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Then um, Xander and Alan Keene was born on November 10, 2009 to Corey and Michelle in Harrisburg. Um, Xander is their second child. Uh, and uh, raising um, Xander's big brother lives in heaven. And uh, we are uh, so grateful for Xander for his little life and, and uh, pray this prayer over him. I prayed for this child, and the Lord has granted me what I ask of him. So now I give him to the Lord, for his, for his whole life he will be given over to the Lord. And then finally, uh, Sophia and Isabella and Stasia Steinmeier being brought before the Lord in dedica uh, dedication today by Bill and Victoria. Sophia was born January 20th. You guys can just come down here, please. Uh, born January 20th, 2002, in the Ukraine, and Isabella was born October 1st, 2008, at her home in Harrisburg. The scripture they've selected for both girls is from Psalm 91. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in whom I trust. Well, folks, we have some wonderful looking children up here, and and great parents, and I have a couple questions to ask of you. First is this, by coming forward before God and His people, do you hereby declare your desire to dedicate yourselves and your children to the Lord? If so, please respond by saying we do. And so that your child may walk in the abundant life that Christ offers, do you vow before God and by His help and in partnership with the church to provide your child a Christian home of love and peace, to raise him or her in the truth of our Lord's instruction and discipline, and to teach and admonish him or her to one day trust Jesus Christ as Savior and Lord. Please say we do. And then finally, just a question to us as a congregation. We have a responsibility, not specifically necessarily to these folks, but a responsibility to children, so I'm going to ask you this question. Do we as a church body commit to help these parents raise their children in the knowledge of the Lord by offering instruction for the children, training for parents, and regular and fervent prayer for families? If so, please respond by saying, we do. We do. Let's pray together. Father God, I praise you and thank you for little Levi. Pray your blessing upon him. And ask that you will enable him to come to understand who you are. And that he will know the fear of the Lord. And he will come before you with humility. And we lift that little care to you, Father God. 
I pray that you will minister your grace, peace, and mercy to her. And that whatever she does as she grows older, in word and deed, that she will do it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Giving thanks to God the Father. We lift up little Onea to you. Thank you, Lord God. Help her to use her voice to sing your praise, to praise your name in the sanctuary. Whatever gifts you give her, to, to offer them to you as a sacrifice of praise. And for Xander, thank you, Lord God, for this little guy. And thank you that he is a gift to his parents. We pray your, your, your grace and mercy upon him. We give him over to you, Lord God. And for Sophia and Isabella, we lift them before the Lord. We pray that they would dwell in the shelter of the Most High, that they will rest in the shelter of the Almighty, and that as they grow to understand that they will say, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God and my trust. And I pray your blessing, Lord God, upon these parents and upon these households. Be glorified and honored in each of these homes. And enable us as a church to continue to help families to grow in you, to raise their children well. And we pray that they would be grown-ups who love you and serve you with all of their hearts as you give yourself to them. Thank you, Spirit of God, for your presence here with us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we pray. Amen. Let's thank these folks for coming. welcome you here this morning. We especially welcome many of our guests that are with us. If you have not been to our church